Now to get the input, that's very simple. Let's uh, let's get the number from the user, and uh, basically uh, this will correspond with indexes in our letters array. So when the user enters two, uh, it will correspond with the index two. No, well, not exactly, because we will start indexes with zero, obviously, zero, one, two, three, and four. But remember, we are not using digit zero and one. So if the user enters two, that's actually our first index. And it's going to be our first index in the letters array as well. So it's going to be the index zero. So if the user enters number three, it corresponds with DEF, and that's our index number one, even though it's actually a number three on a dial. So uh, we'll have to keep that in mind when we are moving the uh, numbers or the letters into the array. So let's do our console dot uh, write and something like please enter seven digit number. And um, well, I'm not going to be doing uh, any uh, validation or anything this is just an exercise to actually show how this kind of looping works not how to do if statements you know to validate whether the user actually entered valid number so we will simply do do not use number zero and one and if a user does then it will simply crash the program uh, i'm not gonna be dealing with the input validation in in this exercise but you can do it, you know, as your kind of additional thing, how to improve this, uh, the whole code. So we will create our string, and it's going to be called number, even though it's a string, because it's going to be from the console.readLine, and which is obviously a string. And we will use it as an integer, because uh, it's a phone number, uh, which is over here. But... Uh, we will simply convert it when the time comes. But I will, for now, we will store it as a string. So let's do a for integer in i equals zero. i is less than seven because we have a not minus zero but equals zero because it's a seven-digit number. And obviously i plus plus. And in it, we will have the integer index. So now we will convert the input into a number. So we will do convert that to integer 32. And what we are converting is the number, which is the uh, string, but one digit at a time, or in this, you know, one character at a time. So we will do our substring of i, which is the index, and we do one character, so the length, you can see uh, integer first is the start index, which is i, so it starts from 0 all the way to uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then length, uh, how many characters are we taking, and we're taking one. But, remember, if I do this, then uh, our, we're not using the letter 0 and 1. So if I, let's say, go to uh, enter number three, again, it's index one in our letters array or in our all letters array as well. So what we have to do, since we are not, not using two numbers, zero and one, we start from two, we need to subtract two to get the correct index. That's what we are trying to get. We're trying to get the corresponding, here you go. This will correspond with indexes in the letters array. And in order to correspond with that, we need to subtract two because we are not using zero and one uh, as, as the digits for the phone number, but we are using zero and one as indexes in our arrays. So um, our dial starts from number two. Zero and one are not used. So that's what we are converting. We have it now uh, converted to integer, 
sorting in an index and now we can place it into our uh, letters uh, array so we will do our letters index of i and now that equals whatever is stored in all letters of the index so now we are moving let's say if there is a uh, user enters number two that corresponds with 2 minus 2 is 0, so it corresponds with uh, 2 minus 2, I mean here, the index is 2 minus 2 is 0, so it corresponds with A, B, and C, because that's our 0 index of the all letters, and A, B, C is moved to letters. Now, and let me demonstrate what we are actually doing here. Uh, I'm going to do 4 integer i equals equals uh, 0, i is less than 7, and i++. plus plus. So if we are going to loop through 7 numbers in our letters. I'm going to just simply print them out. Console.write line, I will print the letters of i. So let me just uh, run it. It's asking me for a for a number, so let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it's that seven-digit number, and what it shows me is on index zero in my letters array, I have A, B, C. On index one, I have D, E, F because it corresponds with three, G, G, H, I, which corresponds with four, and so forth. And oh, you can see that number seven has P, Q, R, S because it has four numbers. That's uh, so uh, if I run it again, and uh, let's just, let me just use one number, like let's say nine, 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 that's three, four, five, six, seven, nines. So I will have W, X, Y, and Z repeated all uh, seven times for seven numbers. So that's what we are now storing into our letters array. We have the numbers from the uh, or the letters from the phone number that the user entered and we have them in correct order so now we have the letters and now we can do the combinations